Good day everyone. Well, there is a very common problem on Windows 10 and Windows 11 computer. If your computer has sudden shutdown or if there is a corruption or if there is a damage file in the Windows, then the whole computer gets in boot loop. So whenever you turn on the computer, it, tr it tries to think and it doesn't turn on. So in this video, we are going to do five simple steps yet very powerful and we will be able to fix this problem. Please make sure you watch the whole video and you will be able to do it. And guys, if you are new to the channel, please hit the like and subscribe. So here, the very first thing, we need to go to this advanced option. That's a very first and important step. Please listen to me carefully that how we can go to this advanced option in Windows when we have the restart loop on Windows. So this tutorial will work on laptops, desktops, if you have Dell, HP, Lenovo, Acer, any kind of any manufacturer's laptop, it will work on that. And it will work on Windows 10 and Windows 11. Shut down the computer and press the power button. And the moment when your computer turns on, shut down again by pressing the power button. So in this map, when you do it three times consecutively, you will get a new window when you will see your PC did not start correctly, continue and advanced option. That's the first thing which you can do. Or you can restart the computer and keep tapping on F11 key to go to the advanced option. If you're using a desktop computer, you can turn on the computer and just take out the power cable and then plug in back and try to turn on the computer and you will get this advanced option. If you're using a laptop, then I would recommend to take out the battery and press and hold the power button just to drain all energy and then put it back and then turn on. So once you are in advanced option, you need to click on that and you will get this option. Choose an option, continue, troubleshoot and turn off your PC. And we need to go to troubleshoot and you will find reset this PC and advanced option. Once you're here, you will find six different options. And I'll tell you which needs to be done at first. Here, the very first step from your side should be startup repair. Fix problems that keeps Windows from loading. So once you click on that, now once you click on startup repair, in old versions of Windows, it will ask you to log into your user account. So you can select any of your user account and enter the password. And if you do not uh, have any password, you can leave it blank and then you can click on continue. So in this manner, the startup repair will begin. In 90% cases, it will fix the problem. But let's say if it doesn't, then we will move to the next step. Now we need to go to the same window here and we will go to troubleshoot. And this time again, we will click on advanced option. And here we need to select system restore. So use a system restore recorded on your PC to restore windows where it was working absolutely fine. So if you have, if your computer has any restore point uh, to the beginning time, to the earlier point of time, and it was working there, then you can restore it. So you, once you click on that, it will ask you to enter or log into your user account and then you can click on here just like this you can see i have two restore points and you can select the date according to your convenience and you can click on next and it will begin this restore and this will fix your problem but let's say if it doesn't you do not have to be disheartened please do all the steps carefully and you will be able to fix the problem so be on that page again where the advanced option is there and then go to troubleshoot and click on advanced option and here we will select command prompt please make sure that you know where exactly your windows is installed on c drive d drive or e drive so for that you just need to type disk part and hit enter and then you, t you need to type list volume list space wall so i can see my windows is installed in c drive where you have the system restore NTFS partition 50 MB and the volume is C. So in this manner you can check yourself 
where exactly the Windows is installed. And once you are done, I'll just click on exit and you will be here in this system 32. Now we need to put some command and fix. So if there is a if there is a corruption or any damage of Windows files, then we can repair it. And I'll tell you a command which you need to run and it will fix the problem. So for that, just type chkdsk space forward slash f and then space forward slash r space c drive where exactly are a windows is installed so if it's um if in your computer if windows is installed on d drive then you can type d letter here once you do that hit enter and it will start scanning and if you have any physical corruption there in the hard disk it will try to fix it and if you have any kind of issues in the computer especially in in the disk it will scan and try to fix it and then just restart the computer normally and see if your issue is fixed or not if it's not we will move to the next step so we need to again be here on this choose an option page and then go to troubleshoot and here we have this advanced option and again we need to click on this command prompt and a window will appear like this now we need to put some commands to fix the boot record in the computer so for that you need to type boot rec boot rec space forward slash fix mbr so if there is some problems in your MBR especially in the Windows it will fix it and you just need to hit enter and it should say the operation completed successfully once you have done that again we need to type one more command which is boot rec space forward slash fix boot so this will actually fix the boot section and repair it and you just need to hit enter since I'm working on this virtual machine this is giving me an error but in your case it will fix the boot once this is done we need to re rebuild the bcd file which helps to boot the computer so for that type boot rec space forward slash rebuild bcd and hit enter so this will scan all the disk and it will repair once this is done you just need to restart the computer normally and see if the issue is fixed or not. After doing all these steps, if you still have issues, you can let me know in the comment section. I'll try my best to fix your problem. And I'll see you in the next tutorial, guys. Please hit the like and subscribe. Have a wonderful day.